The Legend of the Sand Dollar, an inspirational story of hope for Easter. Written by Chris Auer, illustrated by Richard Cowdery. Why can't mom and dad take us to the beach? Carrie sniffled. It's only two days, whispered Margaret, and they'll come back to get us on Easter morning. Carrie tried not to cry. Every few years, her family went to Aunt Jane's house near the beach. I'll just think about playing with Cousin Jack, she told herself. I'll just think about the ocean. But her tears still fell as the bus took her further and further away from her mom and dad. Early the next morning at Aunt Jane's, Carrie went out to look at the boats on the river. Carrie still missed her parents, but soon she heard the putt, putt, putt of an engine coming towards her from upstream. Cousin Jack! Carrie! Jack hollered. What do you think about my new boat? It's not very big, she called back. Then it's perfect for you. He took her hand and she climbed on board. The river opened to the wide bay. Hang on, Jack yelled. Suddenly, the ocean lay before them, as broad as the sky. A small island appeared in the distance. Waves lapped against the shore as Jack beached the boat. What's this? Carrie called, holding up a round object. That's a sand dollar, Jack answered. A sand dollar? Carrie cried. This isn't money. Right, said Jack. It's a starfish that used to live in the ocean. How do they get here? Carrie asked. When the tide goes out, it leaves sand dollars behind, Jack said. Why are they called dollars? She asked. Real dollars used to be round, said Jack, and they were made of silver, but sand dollars have value too. Then I guess we're rich, Carrie teased. In a way, he answered, the sand dollar tells us a story, the greatest story of all. Can you see the Easter lily on that side? It's like a trumpet saying, Jesus is alive. Now look closely in the middle of the lily. There's a star from the east that led the wise men to Christ. We remember Jesus' birth on this side too. Flip it over. See the Christmas flower? Both sides of the sand dollar tell the Easter story. See the four nail holes and the fifth hole made by a spear. These remind us that Jesus died for us. Now hold out your hand, said Jack, and watch very carefully. He broke open one of the sand dollars and five white shapes fluttered down. See the doves? This is the new life, the promise of Easter. As Jesus lives again, so can we. And these doves remind us to spread his promise and this hope to all people. No, Carrie cried. We dropped them. Jack wasn't worried. The high tide will leave more, over and over, and I have a whole bucket full back home. As the tide rushed ashore again, Jack helped Carrie back into the boat, pushed it off the beach, and jumped inside. The boat crested the top of each wave, hung in the air, then swooped down like a ride on a roller coaster. But all the way back, Carrie could only think about the sand dollar and how valuable it was. That night, the moon rose full across the water. You know what? asked Jack. Your parents aren't that far away, like the moon and the tide. But the moon is far away from the ocean, said Carrie. They're still connected, Jack explained. The moon's gravity is what pulls the tide high. From that far away? That's how the tide works. Like how God can remind us that he is close too, whispered Carrie, thinking of the sand dollar. The next morning, Carrie put a sand dollar into her sister's hands. Happy Easter, Margaret, she said. Thanks, Carrie. Carrie smiled and asked, Do you see the Easter lily? An Easter lily? Yeah, and inside there are little doves. I'll tell you the whole story. As they waited for their parents, Carrie shared the good news with her sister. Soon Margaret smiled too. <laughs>